Hello and welcome to Mastering Windows Server 2019. My name is Rob Plow and I'll be your course guide for this course. Though I'll be guiding you along your Mastering Windows Server 2019 learning experience, assisting me will be some of our brilliant course authors, including Anthony Howell, David Lamb, and Matt McElrath. A quick note about TechSnips if you're wondering who we are. All of us are content authors and contributors for TechSnips. TechSnips is a community of like-minded IT professionals focused on career development through sharing knowledge with other IT professionals and with those just starting out in their career. I encourage you to learn more about TechSnips by visiting techsnips.io. Now for a quick overview of some of the awesome content you're about to learn in this course. This course is broken down into seven sections, Section 1 will cover understanding advanced storage features. Section 2 will cover building and maintaining clusters. Section 3 will cover deploying and managing Docker containers. Section 4 will cover understanding software-defined networking. Section 5 will cover deploying remote desktop services. Section 6 will cover implementing advanced security features. And last but not least, Section 7 will cover automating Windows Server 2019 with PowerShell in the command line, probably my personal favorite. A few prerequisites for this course. You will need at least one physical computer or virtual machine with the following specs. You will need Microsoft Windows Server 2019 installed. You will need a processor of at least 1.4 GHz or higher speed. You'll need a minimum of 2 GB of memory. You'll need at least 32 GB of storage capacity and you will need a Microsoft Azure account. And, ideally, an isolated network segment if you're following along on a work network to avoid any impact to production systems. By the end of this course, we'll learn advanced knowledge of Windows Server 2019, including some of the following. Setting up and configuring storage spaces direct and data deduplication, creating a failover cluster from scratch, managing Docker containers on Windows Server 2019, setting up various software-defined networking components, and deploying and managing Remote Desktop Services 2019, both in Azure and on-premises. And the last goal that goes without saying, of course, have fun. And now with that introduction out of the way, let's get started.